All right, so instead of recording with my crappy webcam, I'm gonna record with an actual camera for this. Uh, I really don't even know where to start. As like weird as it sounds and just dumb, uh, to me, my life really did change a year ago today. I worked on a video for probably like three to four weeks, somewhere around that, uh, and I was heading off to work, and I really wasn't in store for what was going to happen that night. I had a pretty early shift for me. I started working at around lunch, and I came home at probably around like 10 o'clock. I came home, clicked on the video, and saw it had like 12 likes and like 30 views, and I was pretty happy. <laughs> and then I got in a party with a couple of my friends, and we were just playing Advanced Warfare. And right when I was about to head off to bed, um, I started getting a ton of messages <laughs> on Twitter. Be in mind, I never checked Twitter whenever I did. I probably had just like two to three tweets at me. <laughs> uh, I had 99 and uh, every two minutes I would refresh it and I would get a new 99. People were just being really nice and yeah, that's basically all. People were just being really nice. They kept giving me really good compliments and I couldn't even speak like I am right now. Uh, I th really, as stupid as it sounds, uh, I thought I was dreaming. I'm, I've been doing YouTube for a long time and I didn't know what it felt like to get a lot of people to look up to you. And then with freaking out, my friend Coop told me that Blaziken uh, wanted <laughs> to, uh, to talk to me and DM him. And then I freaked out that Blaziken followed me. <laughs> Gave him my Skype and then I got a call and I thought it was a troll or something. It just, again, it didn't seem real. I could hear Scarus and Formula and Blaziken and I just couldn't wrap around my head that I was talking to them. We were all just kind of freaking out together and Formula was just like, just change your gamer tag, you're on Obey. I just, I could not stop refreshing my Twitter because it, it was just nonstop. It just kept going and uh, it was nuts. I started getting a lot of people I look up to follow me and it just kept happening over and over again. That same night I got into a party with a bunch of people in Soar and Obey and Red and I even talked to Pomage and I, they told me to stream and I did and immediately <laughs> I got hit off. Everybody was tweeting it out and I think I got like, oh my gosh, like 500 viewers and this was like 3 o'clock in the morning and this is the first time I ever streamed. I think I slept for 30 minutes that night. I woke up, I rushed to my computer, and everything was still there, and I still couldn't believe it. I think when I woke up, I had around 6 or 7k. I decided right before I was gonna go and head off to church uh, that I was gonna do a little video that I said I was gonna I was gonna do with somebody. My first game on with the new Obey Gamer Tag, I had a split 5 on, and then I hit a triple single. And then I went off to church, and I just couldn't stop thinking of what was happening last night that was still continuing after our service ended uh i went up to my dad and i just said something very big happened we went to a little restaurant with just me my little sister and my dad and i showed him what my twitter was doing it was still so much and it was ridiculous because even at this time because i started tweeting out a lot more i don't remember exactly what i tweeted but i just tweeted a couple of words and I clicked down on my notifications and I showed them every single time I swiped. There was 10 to 20 to 30 notifications every single time I swiped. And my dad just kind of looked at it and didn't understand. And my sister thought it was cool because she understands more of social media. And then I came back home and I hit over 10k and I was like... I really wanted to make a 10k montage, that's not gonna happen. Hours passed and within each hour I would keep clicking to see how many subs I have and it was 11k, it was 12k, 15k, and then like almost around 20k. And then that night I got interviewed by Scarce and then I joined Red and I started just telling more people about it. And then I started talking to my mom about it and weirdly enough she understood it and wanted to more know about it more than a lot of people I know ever wanted to. That first week, I just had to say it didn't feel real. I wasn't over the shock of just how many messages I was getting every day. Now, even on Xbox, I had to close my notifications just because like, I couldn't play because every single time I would hear a click in the left corner being like, someone's supposed to send you a message, whatever. I started grinding really hard for videos. Just kept having fun like I always have. The thing that was the hardest was probably work because I knew I was working and it was just weird knowing that I was, it kind of felt weird as it sounds again, 
I kind of felt like living a double life. I felt like these people knew me as Jordan, like the Domino's delivery driver, and then there were so many other people that knew me as just somebody that likes to have fun with video games. After a little bit amount of time, I decided to live stream, and the support was... Uh, I I really couldn't even tell you. It was, it was stupid. It's stupid as in stupidly amazing. At the time, I was living at my own place, but I asked my parents if I could move out, come back here, and not like pay so much for rent and everything, so I can really get involved more with making videos. And they did, and I have to thank them for that, because it has been a insane, ridiculous, amazing past year. An amazing- all of those words experience. I'd say after the next couple of weeks, it really kind of to sink in, and one of the things that kind of hit me hard was responsibility. I never really had that before, and I wanted to take a role of responsibility to myself to really upload and to entertain those that enjoyed what I put out because I never thought that would ever happen ever. I get it more and more every single day that somebody comes to me and says they enjoy my videos, they make their lives better, and I never thought that was... I could ever do that. My dad especially had always taught me something to do something that I want to do for my life. That if I can figure out a way to do something I love doing and I could live off of it, I would never work a day in my life. And for the past year, that's what I felt. Every day I wake up knowing I gotta make a video today, but it's not, man, I gotta make a video. It's, I cannot wait to get the feedback over the video I'm about to make. And of course there have been some little bit of down times with people, but I wouldn't trade that for the world. I know there's a lot of other people that grow a lot faster than me, you know, they get thousands and thousands and thousands of subs every day, but, and I know they appreciate theirs very much, but just know that I appreciate every single one of you. You've viewed a video, you've liked the video, you've come to my streams, you've donated, anything. Tweet it at me, I don't care. I appreciate it. I've been very blessed to have everything in my life and I just wanted to say thank you guys. <laughs> I have, there was a couple of years uh, that I definitely didn't go through a very happy time. Th this is definitely a very happy time. <laughs> it's given me stories that I'll share my kids, my grandkids, friends, family. I think I've put it in my comment section for probably this whole year. It says, you guys are the greatest thing to ha ever happen to me. I can't wait to see what this year is going to have in it. And that's exactly right. I couldn't wait. And it's been an amazing year. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And here's to another year. Thank you guys.